wanted to do a video introducing my book that I recently got published uh, for those of you who might be interested. Uh, this book is called The Righteousness of One, an Evaluation of Early Patristic Soteriology in Light of the New Perspective on Paul. Now this is essentially an updated version of my master's thesis. Uh, the forward is written by Peter Lightheart, and the, the premise of the book, essentially I'm studying the New Perspective on Paul. Uh, from a, the perspective of historical theology. So a lot of the works out there that are on the New Perspective deal with the exegetical issues uh, in, in Paul's letters and dealing with the nature of Second Temple Judaism. But I'm really doing something very different that hasn't been done uh, from a lot of the other writings. It's, it's kind of a deficiency in the whole debate that I've seen. Uh, and so it seemed to me like somebody needed to do the work in historical theology to deal with the claims that are made. So essentially, if you go through this book, uh, the... Uh, beginning is an introduction to the new perspective on Paul and the issues that are assumed there in the realm of historical theology. So if you go all the way back, you know, to Stendhal's writings, uh, there there's a conviction there that the the Augustinian tradition of the West misunderstood Paul. So the assumption, of course, is that the pre-Augustinian tradition didn't have uh, this introspective conscience, this tortured conscience, uh, that Augustine supposedly has and that Luther has. And, and so essentially what I do throughout the book is I study the, the claims of the new perspective on Paul that they make regarding historical theology. And so I examine the church in the period before Augustine. I'm, I'm dealing with the Apostolic Fathers and Justin Martyr. So I'm dealing with the very early church. Uh, and I'm asking the question, did they understand Paul in the same way that the new perspective understands Paul? Or did they understand Paul in a way that's very similar to Luther, because if they understood Paul in a way that is similar to Luther, then that means that Luther wasn't just driven uh, by his medieval context, but in fact people understood Paul to be asking these questions about salvation uh, even right after Paul was writing. So you don't need this post-Augustinian or this medieval context in order to understand Paul in this way. So I deal with the, the claims uh, of the new perspective on the Apostolic Fathers, Justin Martyr, and I also deal with Luther's own theology because I put forth the argument that Luther, in fact, is very much caricatured in the New Perspective writings, and so I examine the writings of Luther uh, to say, you know, who is Luther? Who is the real Luther? How did Luther actually understand the doctrine of justification? How did he actually understand Paul in light of what the New Perspective proponents uh, claim that he understood Paul? So the conclusion of the book uh, is essentially that there are many Lutheran themes throughout the earliest writers that deal with Paul. Now, that's not to say that they all agreed with Luther on everything. That's not to say that they were all consistent Lutherans or anything like that. But it is to say that there are many of the themes that show up in Luther's thought that show up right after uh, Paul wrote his epistles in the earliest writings of the church. So that should cause us to kind of go back and re-examine things and, and ask these questions again. You know, if the earliest interpreters understood Paul, in a similar way to Luther. Maybe Luther's interpretation of Paul actually is more consistent uh, with the actual text of Paul than we have been willing to admit since the rise of the new perspective. So this work is not you know, attempting to give a final answer on the whole issue, but it's really attempting to be a voice where there has been silence. Uh, and so hopefully the debate can happen in a more historically informed fashion uh, so people can acknowledge what earlier writers of Paul have said and what Luther actually said about Paul uh, so that we can deal with the new perspective uh, with more honesty of the, the church's historical interpretation. So if you're interested in that subject, please do pick up a copy of the book. Thanks.